Hi, Earl. Um, just like to respond to a couple of things you said. Pretty interesting. Um, don't really uh, have anything to disagree with you. Just um, thought it might be interest you to know that um, the Bible actually does say that man has the capability to um, to ruin the earth. So you might want to share that with your minister friend, and that's in Revelation 18:11, where it says God will bring to ruin those ruining the earth. So I just thought I'd uh, let you know that one. And uh, also, you mentioned about Earth being the centre of the universe and the geocentric view. I think that's what you were alluding to, um, and that um, in general, that Christians believe the Earth is a special place, and so on. And that reminded me of. Um, Something else I saw a while ago where they were talking about how in, just how insignificant the Earth is um, in the universe and uh, unexceptional it is, I think, uh, referred to as the Copernican Principle. Um, <coughs> and uh, somebody said something like... Um, what if there is a if there is an intelligent force out there that's responsible for the universe? Given that we are so small and so insignificant in the universe, what makes us think that he would be interested in us in our everyday lives and things like that? Um, we're just so small, you know. It's just it just doesn't make any sense. That 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 was the the view, and I, I can't remember whether that was your view. It might have been your view, but I, I can't really remember. But uh, I'm just going to say something about that and. Um, that is uh, that our our position or our size or uh, location in in space really is irrelevant to the issue of of uh, whether or not a, a creator would be interested in us personally. Um, have you ever seen that movie Horton Hears a Who? It's quite quite funny. In that movie, there was a a whole civilization living on uh, a tiny, tiny little flower. And right down within that flower was this whole planet, almost, um, of people. And the whole movie was based upon the relationship between this elephant named Horton and, and, and this race of uh, people living on that planet. And that sort of reminds me, I think it's a, a crude illustration of um, a really size doesn't have anything to do with it or, or location or being uh, wherever you are or whatever. It's um, intelligence um, that is important. Um, another thing too is uh, just going back to the um, what you said about the Earth and that how important it is. I think you meant how important it is for the Earth to, for us to look after the Earth and to take care of it. Totally, I totally agree with you. Uh, as I said, the Bible um, teaches us to to do that as well. But it's interesting, uh, a few years ago I saw um, a documentary on some river, I think it was in India, <coughs> and people started camping, building their villages all along the river for years and years and years. They fished, fished it out and uh, rubbished it and so on. And after years and years and years the river dried up and uh, wasn't what water was there was uh, not drinkable and so on. So that because there was nothing there, they left, and uh, all the all the villagers left, and they moved somewhere else. And a few years later, <coughs> on return, the river had come back to its original state. So um, that would probably be the case too if we if we ruin this planet so much, even with a nuclear war, let's say we wiped out all life on Earth and so on. After some time, the Earth would return to its present state or to to a, a to an ecological system that was uh, functional and so on. And um, that kind of would be what you would expect if there was a creator who designed a planet to be inhabited for us, as you alluded to. So anyway, those are my thoughts um, on your video. Hope all is well. Thanks.